Hi all, Graham here, and here is something a little bit different from me. Tonight I've recorded a game of Bolt Action. I'm playing Richard at Reading War Games Club on a Wednesday evening. I'm very much a novice to the rules, having not played them since before Covid, so he's very much leading me by the nose. He's uh, created two army lists for us. One, the British Paras, which you can see here. Uh, you can freeze frame it or screen dump it to see the detail and he's using a German list. We'll go over them a little bit more when we start the actual game footage itself. But we're playing a thousand point and we're playing, a, it's something of an encounter game. Anyway, as always, please watch, feedback. If you see anything that's not right, please let me know if there's anything I can learn from. Anyway, enjoy the game and let's see what happens. What okay. have you got, Richard? So what we've got here, we've got a, German reinforced platoon and it's made up of a Luft, two Luftwanzer um, sections and those are basically inexperienced troops, they're ground crew from the the, the, the air service that are basically being commanded. Militia, militia. Well not quite militia but they're very nearly, yeah. yeah. yeah they're, they're, they're not trained infantry. Uh, then we've got two German paratrooper sections. So these are like your elite, are they? These are my elite. These are veterans. Um, these are hardened troops. And they are equipped mainly with automatic weapons. Uh, whereas these are mainly um, rifles. Yeah. I've also got a, a smattering of uh, Panzerfausts. So that's basically a single shot anti tank weapon. Yep. So. It's a stick with a grenade that they fire, isn't it? Yeah, but it's yeah. pretty powerful. It's a one-use-only weapon. Whereas I've only got one pit, haven't I? You've only got the one pit. So you you need to keep your tank away from these guys. You're all right up to about a foot, but get a closer than a foot, you're... In the, in the bundy. Yeah, you're going <laughs> to you're gonna get shot at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a second, loot, second lieutenant <coughs> officer with a couple of Batman. Yeah. I've got a heavy mortar. Heavy mortar. Okay, but that's inexperienced. So it doesn't, in terms of shooting a mortar, it makes no difference how good the troops are. Yeah. However, when you come to shoot at it, if inexperienced troops are basically easier to kill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then I've also got a truck. Truck. Which can take any one of the sections. And I've got a Panzer IV. Panzer IV, 75 millimeter. 75 millimeter, and that's roughly comparable to your Sherman. All right. You couldn't tell me pretty well what we've got, what I've got then. Yeah. Okay. So. So I've got my CNC here with a submachine gun. Yeah. I've got one section with eight rifles, a light machine gun, um, and a. An NCO, yeah. NCO, yeah. And uh, same again here. I've got a third section that's got a uh, leader with a submachine gun, five rifles, five submachine guns. The next section's got uh, three rifles. It must be the Piat team. Uh, submachine gun. Can't be right, can it? Just three and one? Yeah, it should be two, but usually two Piat. I've only got one Piat. You've got three three infantry with and then two with machine guns. Ah, two, so I should they should have two machine guns. They are. That's a pier. That's a machine gun. So I need a second machine gun and a leader with them as well. So, and this is my mortar team. Yeah. So yeah. So you need a, a second rifleman to go with him, him, and then you need a machine gun to go. It's with. an encounter. We both have deployed troops, and then we're going to basically attack each other across the across the, the battlefield. We could say that this this crossroads is a key objective or something, but really this this one's all about depleting the other side. Yeah. So it's kill massacre points, which is yeah. kind of what I like. Okay. Right. So what do we do first? We do deploy all the units. So right, the first thing you have to do is. Decide if you're going to have everything on the table or not. So up to half of your platoon can be in reserve. Now, be, 
I know you're going to bring down a, we're going to have a, a, a preparatory bombardment to soften each other up. Yeah, yeah. As, now, the way that works is there's a chance it will do one kill. Now, one kill on a 10 man unit, 10 man section, is neither here nor there. One kill on a tank is pretty devastating. Oh, yeah. Because that, so I'm going to keep my tank, my truck, and one section in the truck in reserve and off the table. Okay, but you don't have this protrusion, so I might as well get mine on. Well, no, I also give the priority bar bombardment. It's, oh, just, it's yours is much better than mine. And also, you should have a free forward observer. Does he, does he go with the more towards the No, board? it's separate. So I need a... So he's my forward observer as well. Yeah, so the forward observer can basically call down a one-time barrage. Right, so that's... So I'm going to keep those in reserve. So it's wise for me to keep something in reserve as well? I, I would suggest you keep your... Ta Most people would keep the tank and probably the Jeep in reserve. Okay, I'll do that. Just in case. Yeah. Um, it's more pre precaution. Right, so that's what we do. Th no, so every unit you keep off, you've put off the table, we remove their dice. So we remove, I remove three, you remove two. Okay. We then put all the dice in a bag. Yep. Give them a shake. And off we go. And off we go. So first dice is mine. How far can you deploy on? 12 inches on. So I'm going to put my first unit. So just out of line of sight, the hill's block line of sight. Yep. And the building. If you're on the hill or is there an apex on the hill? If you're on the hill. You can be seen. You can be seen. If, That's we, fine. We, if we just. That's easier. Make it easier. Saga rules. Yeah. yeah. Right, there's your dice. Okay, so 12 inches. Oh, big man. That's, that's okay, that. that's my big man. My yeah, yeah, you've still got not, you've got eight. He's my leader. And plus a machine gun team. Yeah, you should only have 10 altogether, though. Oh, okay, so I should have take what, one. We'll take one rifle off, because be, one of the riflemen is the loader for the Bren. Okay. It's not always clear on the... Okay. Uh, my next, next, I'm going to put... I'm going to put my mortar there. Yeah. Does this field give cover, or is it just... Uh, so so just the way the cover works here <laughs> is if you're behind it, it depends what, what we do. If you're behind it, you, it usually block. It doesn't block line of sight, but would give you some protection. But it doesn't give cover from shooting. Well, yeah, but so it, it would be up to us to declare it, but this is flat. So this is, I think this is just rough ground. This is just rough ground. Yeah. It'd give you cover if you're in it, but not if you're behind it. Wood blocks line of sight. Once you're in the wood, you can be seen and you'll be fired at. And you can fire you out. You both need to be in the wood, yeah? No, no. If one of you is in the wood, you're, you can be targeted. Yeah. And you can target out. If you're in the, at the back of the wood, then both sides count what's, the cover. What's the difference? What's the distance to be deemed back of the wood? Four inches or...? It's, it's not. It's no hard and fast in the. Oh, okay. It's not. Some of the cover rules in bolt action aren't as well described as you get in a lot of rule sets. So I'm going to put a more experienced group here. Ah. There you go. Great. Up to the edge of the building with this platoon as well. As well. Another one of your elite groups, is it? No, this one's... These two are inexperienced. Okay. So they're easy targets for you. I like easy targets. Another one for me? You know, the, the commanding officer, I should say. Yeah. He's, um, he's hard to kill, though, because he's on his own. 
with only one or two people in a small team, which make it they're harder to they're harder to hit. Be out of here. So it's four machine guns, light machine guns, uh, three rifles, uh, three rifles, and a leader. Right. Just deployed just there. What have you got? So, so this is the. This is my officer, but. The, I've, I've given my officer a couple of uh, squaddies to go along with him. How have you? So T Toughens him up a little bit. Well, basically, it means that if you shoot at him, you've got to kill one of them first. Unless you roll a six, isn't it, or something? And then six, and then another six, you get to choose. Yeah. But, um, it's, all, it's a small unit, so it's going to be hard anyway, isn't it? it well, it's a bigger unit. It's three, so a small unit's only two. So, oh. uh, but... The, the, that's, uh, that's kind of you. In normal combat, that's a good idea. Yeah, yeah. If you had a sniper it, then, and you shot at him, you could still kill the officer. But no, no snipers. We have, we, uh, I, don't, I didn't give either of us snipers. No, no snipers. There you go. And I didn't give us any either of us flamethrowers either, which is typically what you'd have. Right. So all, all these dice now, Graham, are yours. Oh, okay. So you can set the rest of your stuff up. Cool. So my mortar team... You need line of sight, do you? Or yeah. So my unless I gave you, I don't think I gave you a spotter. So you need line of sight. So would this be a good place for my mortar team just here? Yeah, anywhere sort of central, I would say. I mean, I, in the terrain, or doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah, it's half a dozen one six of the other. <laughs> <laughs> Leader there, Panzerfaust, as you say, protect him. And forward observer, he needs to be here really, doesn't he? So forward observers uh, can be set up anywhere your side of the table. We set those up last. Uh, Put him in there then. This, when you're hiding in buildings, well, that's, that's a ruin, which is slightly different. I'll put him in here then. But if you were in a, no, but if you were in a building, then I won't shoot at the man, I'll shoot at the building, which is almost impossible for me to miss. And then I blow the building up and kill him inside it. It's ruins better then. Yeah. That <laughs> <laughs> <I> was lucky. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, so I was in a competition at the weekend and I fired it. Uh, it somebody got his sniper and it was like going to be sixes to hit him. And I just said, well, I'm not going to fire at him. I'm going to fire at the building and blow the building up and kill him as a result. And the guy hadn't realised that was it's clear as day in the rules. And he, nobody, nobody had ever played against had done that to him. So he was like, you can't do that. <laughs> Called that. Right, and these, my last lot, will go down here. So I've got three rifles, uh, machine gun, and two submachine guns. One, one with, one without. That's end of turn one, is it? No, that's that's just deploying. Oh, right. Where did that dice? Did I have a dice? Oh, sorry. Yeah. Do I need to put dice beside them all? It doesn't really matter. Not now. Not now. Okay. So. Well, now we're going well, to we're going to collect the, all the dice up. So all the dice for any unit that's well, left. And we start with preparatory bombardment. Ah, this is what we were talking about earlier, wasn't it? Yeah. So we each want to roll one die six. When you're in there, yeah. Uh, can you see that? Or? Yeah, I can. I can see in there. So let's not roll the same colour. I'll roll purple. So on a one, I don't get it. One. So mine, mine has been used elsewhere on the battlefield. All oh, right. But so I haven't got it. Now you said I get a. a well, yeah, so you, if you roll a one, you don't get it either. Three. But you do get it. Now, the way this works is every unit has been hit. Oh. No, sorry. Every unit has a chance of being hit. On a one, you'll miss the you'll miss the unit. On a six, you'll have hit it directly. Uh, but you may have, you, you probably will end up pinning it. So now the British are better at this than any other nation. So you get to roll twice. Oh, do I? So you roll two dice and pick the best one, which is actually, you know, six is the best number. But the higher the number, the better. Okay. So we go for one unit. So this unit here. Yep. A four and a two. So the four is two pin markers. 
So basically, you've, you've pinned them, which makes them harder for me to move. Uh, we'll come to the, the test in a minute. Okay, your mortar team. Mortar team. A three and a three. So that, a three is one pin marker. The, the, uh, the second Lufthansa. A six and a two. Luftwaffe, not Lufthansa, that's the. <laughs> <laughs> Lufthansa. Yeah. What have you got there? Six and a two. Right, so six, they've hit them directly, which means they get two pins. But also, you've hit with a plus three penetration. Oh, so if there was a tank on there, that would have been. You could have destroyed sweet. the tank, yeah. Oh, lovely, yeah. But you haven't. That's why I didn't. That's why my tank's not on the. <laughs> yeah. So here, yeah. uh, you roll one dice. These only need a three to kill them. So providing you don't, one's always a miss. So three plus is a kill. Yeah. Okay. Five. Yeah, which is eight. Which basically you've killed. You've killed one of them. Okay. So I'll just so just take one off. Take a rifleman off. I'll take a rifleman off, yeah. Yep. Next one. Next unit is the officer. Oh, that'd be nice. Oh, two dice. Two, two dice. Four and a three. So the four is two pin markers. So what scenario is this called again in the book? This is uh, the uh, no man's land. No man's land. Okay. And the final group. A five and a four. So five is two pin. So you're just getting the best dice of the two. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Basically, what you've managed to do is pin, well, pin them all, really. So that means that I have to spend my first turn rallying everybody. Well, I, I don't necessarily have to, but if I don't, I'll be making you them might. Miss. There's a chance you might fail the order you want to yeah, do. Yeah, and yeah. these will almost certainly fail. Yeah. He will almost certainly fail. He's got a reasonable chance. Those two have got a reasonable chance of passing. But I, I want to clear it anyway. Okay. So otherwise it just hangs around. Okay. Right, so now you draw a dice and whoever dice it is, your reserves can't come on this turn. Oh, can't they? No, so you just basically put a dice on them. As they are. As the, where they are, just to show that they're down. Okay. So first one out is one of mine. Now, typically, ah. <laughs> unless you've got a clear shot at something and, and specifically want to do something where you want to go first. Yeah you'll probably want me to move into range. Yeah. So you basically use your dice, to do the stuff that's off the board, just put a dice on it and, and, and wait for me to make the first move. Okay, well I'll put this dice on my, my tank then. All right. It's a black dice. Right. Rallying. I'm gonna rally. So these are- Do you uh, need to roll for rally or do you yeah, just- Yeah, no, I need to roll. So these are inexperienced troops, which means they, they rally on, their order test is, a, is an eight. Yep. Now, if I wanted to give them an order like move yep. or fire, I'd, I'd need to roll eight less two is six. six. I'd have to roll six or under. And now, if they don't, if they fail, they just... They just go down. They, they do just, that. they basically go to ground. Yep. Now, that's less than 50-50, so I'm just not going to do that. Just... So to rally them, I just need to get eight or less. So five, and I rally one to three, uh, one to a die six plus one pins. So I re could remove up to five pins. They've only got two. So I can I can move that, and they're fresh to go basically. Next turn. Next next turn. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Me. I'll put it against my jeep. Yeah. Me. Hmm, this is not so good. No, I have nothing left off the table, yeah. so I've got to do something actually dynamic. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to move these guys forward towards the bunker. You told me how great it was. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to move them 12 inches to the entrance of the bunker, I suppose. It's like that, yeah? Mm-hmm. Now, the aperture of the bunker is, is this here. Yeah. So, I can't fire that way. Okay, next. Me again. Hmm. I don't know if this is good or not. Well, you've got 50%. Well, yep. no, you've got two more dice than me, which means you are going to get things coming so out. So these are going to move just straight forward. 12 inches. Mind you, your tank's going to come on, isn't it? Not this turn. 
depending where you are. If I think you've left me something easy to kill, I'll, I'll move it in that direction. Okay, next. Oh, one of yours. Right, so I'm going to try to rally those. Same as before. I've rolled eight. an eight, so that's okay. You needed eight. I needed eight. If I'd have tried to do something with them, eight would have been too much and they would have failed. Yep. Me? We get them into the building. Seems sensible, doesn't it? Yeah. Can so, they all. So it, it, it's up to six inch move. Because it's a ruin, it doesn't matter where you put them. If it was a building, you just. They, they fill so the floor. So if I put them. Does it matter who's at the front and who's at the back? Or? Not really, no. no. They're all in there. So. The, the, the forward observer... Sorry, yes, I meant yeah, the, the forward, forward observer. observer. Yeah, yeah. It's up to you. you don't have to, he doesn't have to bring in the artillery straight away if you want to wait. However, it doesn't always come in on the, the turn you've asked for. It. it is often delayed. How many times can he bring the artillery in? Just once? Once. Once in a game. So I might as yeah. well wait till the, your uh, tank is on the table before I do it then. Yeah, he said the tank will move and he gets to pick a spot and then it comes. It's up to you. It, there's pros and cons for waiting. This guy here, because the hill, can he see beyond the hill or he, not? He's, we, we can say that he could see beyond the hill. Because yeah. he's elevated. Yeah. Okay. You can say these are low hills. I mean, there's, it, Okay. I'm going to rally him. Five, so that's fine. Perfect. Again, another one for you. Rally the last one, I suppose. Yeah, we're going to rally the last lot. Which is the guys on the end. Yeah. Seven, so that's fine. So you've rolled well, though, haven't you? Yeah. I mean, I, I should have been putting those over there and forcing Bit back on you, but. Okay, one I, for you. I'll give you a break, then I'll, I'll do it that. So one on the uh, tank, is that the uh, the truck or the, the unit? That's on the unit. You don't no. need to declare they're in the, there or not? Well, you should tell, if, the truck, if they're in the truck, you should say that. Okay. But I still need to give them a dice anyway, so. Okay. Me. Um, my mortar team, is it worth firing now or not? Um, it... It depends who you want to fire at. Chances are my motor's not going to move. See, I, I can't see them, can I? No. no. Um, In fact, you can only see my motor, so... Is it... Is it probably badly placed? Might as well... Well, it, you've only... We've got, lot, we've got lots of things that are going to block line of sight, so it... You, you're going to have, you could move it further forward, a little, but then Will it's it got a minimum... A minimum range so i might as well fire at your i'll fire it over here right so range how far are we away from you so it is uh 37 38 ish right and it's a medium mortar which will be on your reference route. and it's got one shot he 12 to 60 inches so so right so it's in range yep so the 12 is the minimum range yes things have to be at least 12 inches away yep First shot. You need a six. Don't you me? need a six. Try a big. Dose. Once you've hit, you need twos after that. Twos. After once you've hit it. Two. Two. No. Yeah. So that's a miss. Right. I'll put a dice on the unit because next turn you'll need a five. Yeah. Provided you fire at this. Provided this doesn't move. Yeah. And that doesn't move. Yep. And also that you do actually fire. Yeah. It needs to be continuous. Yeah, you've got to shoot every round. Yeah. Okay. One of yours. Off table, no doubt. Yeah, that'll go there. One of mine. I'll move them forward. So do they slow down for this at all? So in, co in rough ground or woods, that sort of thing, you can only move six inches. So if I move up to it, which is six inches away, that's it, that's where you stop, yeah. Okay, that's fine. You can't move half at one speed and then half at another. You either, yeah. It's either one or the other. 
Okay. So far, so good. Me again. Uh, I've only got a couple left, so it'd be the the. Uh, no point putting my CNC in the building. He's going to move this way over to here. Mm -hmm. Right, so you have to leave a gap of an inch between units. Right. One of yours. Right, so that's my last one. That's going to be my tank. So now you, you basically, all the dice left are yours. You've so. got one more. Oh, sorry. T tell a lie. I've got a mortar left. So, yeah, okay. Okay. So I'll... Uh, uh, Piat team. I might just leave them there actually outside the building. Mm -hmm. Seems silly to get overcommit. Yeah. Uh, yours, so that will be your mortar team. Yeah, so I'm basically going to rally my mortar as well. Okay. Yeah. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Six. Six, so that's successfully rallied them. That's fine. And the last one is mine. Which will be these guys? Who would that be then? Who have I missed? The forward observer doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, him. <laughs> and there's nothing he can do anyway, is there? Um, no, not really. No. Okay. Well, okay. If you brought in the artillery now, it, it happens that the beginning of the of the next turn, and these won't have a chance to meet to move so you've got a chance that you'll catch them in the open the, so, the longer you leave it the more spread out i'm going to be so going. this is a good time to do it well it is if you want to kill those if, if if you want to pin those infantry if you want to try to if you want to try your look at getting the tank and the you told it, me it dances though so the moment it's there you're going to dance away from it yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna so there's no point so i might as well so I'm going to basically... Uh, it's all about timing, yeah, because if I kill him, you don't get it at all. No, I'm going to go there then. So if I go there, is there, is there a radius thing? Yeah, so basically you decide where you want it, which is probably... Yep. It is there, you see? Yep. And the, it's a six-inch um, radius. radius plus up to another six inches. Oh, so it's 12... 12 inch radius it could, up be t could be up to 12 so it's all of those it's, figures there then. yeah well, you'll get all three units okay and the chances of you getting more than that I'm not I'm not, I'm not going to give you that opportunity <laughs> enough you're going to boom you're yeah, going to disperse yeah, disperse so. right okay so what do I do that's it you just say you fire you put a fire order on him There's no, you don't have to take an orders test because he's got no pins and on next it. turn is when they drop that's then the first chance that they'll drop yes 50, so there's a 50% chance that they'll drop on time. There's a one in six chance that it will be delayed. Uh, two in six chance it'll be delayed. Yeah. And there's a one in six chance that it comes in somewhere else. Okay. Right. So this is the end of the turn then? Yep. Let's move, Graham, do you want to just move the turn counter on one? Okay, so second turn. Just turning the turn counter onto turn two. Uh, why do we refer to page 84? Because this is the table for the artillery barrage. Ah. Okay. So. So this happens before anything at all? This happens before anybody gets sent. So we don't need to put one on the... He's already done the spotting. He's done the thing. He's done his job. Yeah. Cool. Now, for the rest of the game, he's just got to avoid getting killed. And save his dice. So I want to run him behind the back of the table then. Yeah. Um, right. So you roll one, -sided, one, one six sided dice and you want a four, five or six. Okay. Four. That means you fire for effect. The around, uh, so you've plastered this area with shells. Yep. You roll another dice to find how big the area that is affected. Oh, we see. So if the radius is. So I need high, do I? Yes. It's going to make no difference in this particular game, but it could have done. Five. So that's an 11 from the targeting point. So basically, you've got that whole unit, this whole unit, and all that unit. Yep. Now. I have the option to go to ground. Yep. Um, but for the sake of simplicity, I will not. Okay. You roll another dice now. On a one to five, so for each unit affected, you roll one, one to five, you're going to pin it. On a six, you've hit it. 
Okay, so the end unit? Yeah. Three. Three. So you roll another dice and that you've hit it with for up to three pins. So, you, so it's D3 pins. Four. So, so it's two, two. two pins. So two I've just recovered. Seven. They're now pinned again. Okay. The officer? Four. Two more pins, two pins on there. And this is another reason why I wanted to get rid of the pins, because if, if I end up with four pins on something... It, it's almost impossible. Yeah, it gets worse and worse. And then this last one... Six. Six. Okay, that's... Now we can show you what happens on the six. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now we put a, a four-inch template on that. I haven't got a template, but basically you pick... It's a four-inch radius... So that's going to call, basically catch six of them out in the open. So you've hit these six. Yeah. Uh, and this now is plus four penetration. All right. So you you want these are a killed on a score of a three because they're inexperienced troops. Ah. So basically anything but ones and you'll kill them. Okay. So I roll six dice. Yeah. I rolled two ones, so four dead? Four dead. So I'm not going to let you kill me with a machine gun. I'm going to pick the other four. Okay. Ah, you've rolled one six. So I can choose. So if you roll the six, and get, you roll another six, you get to choose who's killed. I did. So you've got a choice of a Panzerfaust, a Panzerfaust, or the LMG. LMG. Right, great, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, the mic will pick that up. Uh, right, okay. And so I've... I'm, I'm going to pick three of the riflemen yeah, that yeah. you've killed. You've, yeah. The Panzerfausts survive. Your Sherman will regret that later. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so now, it. you've also got die six pins on them. So if you roll another six, six sided dice. Six. Six. So they've got six pins on them. Oh, they're going to be a bit wobbly, aren't they? They're, so, right, they are wobbly. You've killed four in one turn. Yeah. And they only had eight to start. So you've killed, over, you've killed half. Half or more. Or more. Yeah. So they have to take a morale test. And they're on minus four. And they're on minus six. Minus six. So I have to... And their normal morale value is is, uh, is eight. They're inexperienced, aren't they? Yeah. So I to survive... Now, the officer is next to them. Yeah. So he gets gives them plus one. Yeah. So you need three to survive. I need three to survive. With two dice. With two dice. And I... And I've rolled a 10, yep. which basically means that you've made that unit ineffective. So you, that's the first kill to Graham. <laughs> so take a dice out of, my ba uh, out of the bag, and just to keep it, make it nice and easy for tallying, if you put it by the turn marker, then we know first blood to you. Okay, good. This is wondrous. Oh, as far as my forward observer, now that's at the barrage. He's yeah, so, so, so he's got a... He's got whatever his arm with a pistol is the he only not, He will not be there. He'll be running yeah, home he, now. He, he basically now hides. He's going to hide for us again. Protect yeah. the dice. Uh, one of mine. Hmm. Right, now this is turn two. Yep. So you could bring on your reserves. However, I advise you don't bring on your tank until you know where my tank is. I'll, I'll, and I've got more dice than you, so I've got an advantage. You... you, 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 you all th things being equal, my stuff should come on first. Yeah. The team over here needs to move. Need to get the forward foot. So six inches to the front of the, the, the terrain. We assume it's the hedge line is like that, yeah? Yeah, yeah that's fine. Six inches. So. Are these got... He's the leader. This is just a normal machine gun team, isn't it? Machine gun, machine gun, machine gun, yeah. yeah. Dice. Okay, next. Me again. Mm. Over here, because these guys are in the open. Yeah, there'll be a nice little target for this machine gun here. So, so if I get in the the, the terrain, or could I? Sh Mind you, I've only got three rifles. It'd be pointless shooting. I might as well get into the terrain. So I'm six inches away. So I'm not in it. Is that right? Yeah. So I'm on the edge of it. So you, you don't count for it. Now, one of the things I forgot to, we forgot to talk about was in bolt action, each nation has special abilities or, spe or special rules. Oh, yeah, okay. And we with the British, 
they can choose. So you've got a choice. We should have discussed this before. You can have a rule which basically allows you to charge me at will, yeah, without taking an orders test. You can have a rule which makes you more effective in close combat. So for every dice, three dice you roll, you roll an extra fourth one. Yeah. You could do the similar sort of thing with shooting. So for every every three rifles you shoot, you get another dice. So you this could, is I don't have to decide this before the game starts. This you, is, you should, this, yeah, you get one. You can choose one rule, and that applies at that to moment it. or yeah. before the game starts. You're supposed to choose before the game starts. And now, so we, uh, I forgot to mention it. So we need to choose. I now. need to choose. So it's a melee based one. A melee based one, a shooty one, or a uh, movement one. What was uh, the, the first one again? Up and atom basically means that you can declare a charge even if you're pinned to basically get into close combat, and that's useful. To to basically progress across the board. I'm going to do that then. Right. Up, a, up an atom. Up an what, atom. Is, okay. It, it's basically... Right. Do you have a special rule? My special rules are my um, my officer is a... He, he can order more troops around than you can. Yeah. Um, and also, if you kill my NCO, I can roll to see whether or not one of the other squad members just becomes the new NCO. Yeah. Uh, and then also my machine, my long, uh, my um, light machine guns are more effective than yours. I get yeah. an extra dice. I, I remember that from version one vaguely. So. Yeah, and also my tank has got tank. Tank is gives you tiger fear, which basically means um, yeah, you're more you're nervous about the tank. Okay, well, I'll discover that. I think yeah, all in the fullness of time. Yeah, yeah. Right here we go. Me again. Hmm. Here. But do the forward observer. Can he jump down the wall and run around the edge? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Does he move 12 or 6? Uh, you, he would run, so it's 12. 12. So we just run from there down to there. Next. God, this is not good. They're, they're all mine coming out. I'm going to move up to the edge of the wood then. Yeah. Here. I don't think I really need to worry too much about getting hung up trying to shoot candy. So that's an advanced move. Even though it's, you slow down for the terrain, it's still an advanced move. Oh, I've got to put the dice. I've got to put the dice on advance. Ad advance. Okay. So you've advanced, which means you could shoot. Can I? Yeah. So, yeah, basically. So I will, I will do then. Yeah. Now you're with. We we measure for all the all the blokes basically. I think. Is there any submachine guns in that group? Should be machine guns within twelve inches, so he can fire, but it'll be at long range. The riflemen are all, I think everybody except the last two at the back. Said so my officer or my NCO has a machine gun. Right, so he's going to be out of range. Yep, but the rest of them are rifles. Yeah, the, so you've got one rifle at long range and you've got one submachine gun at long range. Now that's that's, have, that's we, all I've got. No, no, hang on. And you've got the rest of the rifles to fire as well. But you've got one, two, three, four, you've got six. I should have you got seven rifles in there. Yeah, you've got six rifles at, at normal range. So, at, so they will need three. They've moved four. So you need fours to hit. Fours to hit. Six dice. Yeah. Uh, just the one. Right, so you've, let's just take that dice out and we'll come to that in a minute. You've got one submachine gun which is, at long range. Which is... Three, okay. Is that three dice or two dice? So that'd be two dice for the submachine gun because you haven't you haven't got a Bren in there, have you? Uh, only my my no. leader, but he's out of range. No, he's a. Oh no, he's no, my, my Bren is the, the yeah, my Bren and the I've got a Bren and loader. Oh right, okay. Sorry, I thought I thought it was a. So the the Bren will will fire four dice. Yeah. Now they will need fours because it's they've moved. Yeah, same as the other. Two. So that's another two hits. And then your submachine gun at the back is out of yep. out of range. So that's it. You've got three hits to kill uh, or to to wound. You need uh, threes because these are inexperienced troops and they don't know how to go to ground. So do I roll or do you roll? No, you roll again. So I'm rolling to kill. You're rolling now to yeah to kill. Threes. Threes. Just a two. So you've you've killed two you choose because i didn't roll a yeah six. so i'm not going to choose the panzerfaust i'm going to choose a couple of riflemen if you want a couple of <laughs> riflemen and and you've also got one pin on them because why do i get a pin you get a pin for every time you hit a unit okay 
regardless of whether you kill anybody. So if I hit you six times, I'd only get one pin on you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There's, there's rumours that they may change that in the next edition, but we'll see. Okay. Because the, the, the way the game works is actually long, um, machine guns are easy, are in the game are, easier to, are more effective at killing than pinning. Whereas in real life, a machine gun is a pinning weapon, it's not a killing weapon. It's you. The fire back. So you're going to fire back at my guys there? Yeah. So this is an inexperienced unit, which, so I need to roll, normally I'd need to roll an eight or, uh, well, to take an orders test, I need to roll eight, less one, so I need to get less Because you're pinned, seven. you need to first find out if you can activate. Right? Yeah, so this is seven or less. So I've rolled 11, so they don't fire, they just go down. Do they take a pin off or not? No, because I didn't rally them. On yours again? I'm going to try to fire my mortar Ooh. at your mortar. Oh, that's what it means. So from there to there. So we know it's 37 inches. Yeah. My mortar. Actually, I'm going to change my mind. Oh, he's changed I'm, his mind. I'm not going to fire at your mortar. I'm going to fire. I can ne you've now come into view here, I think. So this base can see see them moving in Through the, the edge of the, the, the wood. Yeah, yeah, around the side of the... I can see you in there. So I'm actually going to fire at your troops in the in the room. Nasty. I need a six, I think, three. So okay. I've missed. But, but I, next, put a, I put a dice on it, don't I? And yeah. now it becomes a five, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a five next turn, provided okay, so, I don't move. So you've, I put a five dice on there just to indicate he needs a five to hit it next turn, which makes him a bit... After a couple of turns, he's going to be rolling fours and threes, and he's going to roll, he's going to do it. So. Yeah, but we only play for six turns, so. Ah. Oh, do we? Oh, okay. I didn't get that. Man of mine. So I'm going to move him forward. So he's within. Is it six inches? What's the effective range? Six inches of him. I could, yes, put, I could yeah. put him in there, but that sounds like a bad, bad idea because you'll just target the building, won't you? No, I'll just ignore him. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just ignore him if he's in there. Okay. It'd be too hard for me to kill. But it won't be effective in there. You, you won't be doing anything for you either. No. I'll put it on the mortar team. And they can fire again, can't they? They can fire now, and you will need a five. I'm going to fire at his mortar team. <laughs> Bit of luck. Three. Right. So next turn, you'll need a four. Four's needed. Okay. Yeah, they're all coming out. I, I could do with holding back a few here. I've got my jeep and my tank off, back off the battlefield. These guys here... An option for those would be ambush, which basically means anybody who comes within... If I move one of these units into line of sight, you get a chance to shoot at them. Can they see them? I think they could see this unit. I'm, I'm going to say you could see this unit. Okay. So we'll say this doesn't block line of sight. So I've got on my dice, I've got advanced. Uh, I can't even read them, they're a bit faded. Fire will be one of them, that's the Fire. one you're looking Ambush. And is that where I leave it on till next turn? Or? You could leave it on till next turn. So it's up to you. If you, you could fire at them now while they're here. Or you could, by ambush, if I move closer, I'll be obviously be at a closer. Can I choose any point where you move? Or no, is it you, at the beginning you, or you move you, at the you, end you, you move? As soon as I say they're moving, you fire them there. Okay. Well, I might as well ambush them, because I'm going to shoot irrespective, aren't I? So. Uh, if I move them. If I don't move them, you don't get a fight. Well, then at the end of the turn, yeah. if they haven't done anything, they get a chance to. They get a 50-50 chance of being well, able to fire. Well, let's look at it logically. You've got uh, fatigues on them, or uh, uh, so you're going to want to remove them first. Or, yeah. yeah. Well, they're a veteran unit, so I could chance it to be honest. Yeah. They're not these crappy units. Not Crap. the. Uh, not the. They're not the Luft, Lufthansa. <laughs> I'm going to ignore the fact that they've got a pin marker on them because I've got my officer next door. So, so you're going to try and. Uh, I'm going to advance them. Do you need to try and? Control. Yeah. So they will. Their order value is a ten. Wow. Goes down to nine because of the pin. A pin. Hit. But the next to the officer go back to ten. So you just need tens. So I just need a ten, and I've rolled a five. Because I passed, I remove one pin anyway. Which is good. So now I get to move them six inches. Or do I now get the choice of? Now you can say I want to shoot at them. Because if you go this way, you're going to get cover, aren't you? 
I am, yeah. So it makes sense to shoot at you now. Yeah, okay, right. So, so I'll, the I'll shoot at you now. So I take, does this dice go from ambush yeah. to what? No, it just stays at ambush. Okay. Uh, I think it stays at ambush anyway, we'll leave it stay. So I'm 24-ish so, inches? Yeah, so anybody within 24. Right, so you're, that'll be out of range of your submachine gun. Which is it, not a problem. Is there a, is there a Bren there or not? Uh, yes, there is. Here. Right, so uh, the Bren range is only 36 inches, so everything over 18 is going to be long range. 18 is long range for everything, or just the Bren? Oh, it's half your long range, isn't it? Yeah, half your long range. So for the infantry, anything over 12 is going to be. Yep. The rifleman, anything over 12 is going to be long range. So you want three, uh, four dice, three, three dice. No, sorry, four dice for the, the machine gun. Needing? Uh, three is long range fours. Two. So that's two hits. And then how many riflemen have you got? I like should have ship? seven. Yeah, but a couple will be out of too far away. So. Okay, three, four, five. The loader. The loader doesn't count. So it's five. I've He's got loading. five. Sorry, six. So right, so you roll another six dice and these will need fours as well. Just the two. Right, so you've hit me with four of hit. But you guys are veteran, aren't you? These are veterans, so to kill me... So fives, you, is it? So you put a pin marker on back on them, because you shot at them. And now you need five. Right. It's fours for regular, isn't it? Fours for regular, threes five. for the inexperience. Yeah. yeah, five. Nothing. Nothing. So, But you've put a pin marker on them. Which is a bit of a pain, but... Uh... Well, basically it means that uh, you... when I come to shoot, I have, I have to get an ex... Where, well, I, where I might need three, I now need fours. So where now, I needed fives, now I need sixes. Yep. Now you're going to move. And now I'm going to move. I'm just going to... How fast are you going to move? Six inches, because I'm I've, I'm advancing. So you're going to advance and shoot? Yeah. But, yeah. So I'm going to advance and shoot over there. That's... Now, because these are, <laughs> these are paratroops, these have got a variety of weapons. I think we're going to be over six and in 12 inches. Yeah, we're over 12 inches in the back. So you, your submachine gun's got a range of 12, is that yeah, right? Yeah, so they're out of range. But I've got um, three assault weapons. Yeah. Assault weapons, is, do they shoot twice? They shoot uh, twice. Uh, and also they've got a range of 18 inches. So they're shorter than a rifle, but they shoot twice. But they shoot twice. So they're, they're not quite, they're, they're similar to an SMG. And I've got the light machine gun. Oh, they're nice, aren't they? So, so I've got, it's quite a shooter unit. It is, isn't it? So I get, because I'm German, I get five. Yep. My machine guns are better than yours. So I'm going to need, it would be threes. I've moved four. Fours. This block's line of sight. So... We're going to make that five. Do I get anything for being in cover? Uh, well, you're... On the edge of the trees. Are you in the trees or are you out? Oh, I'm in the trees, on the edge. That's what yeah, I so you get, an, you get another one. So sixes. Sixes then. One. One, one six. One to kill then? And that, yeah, but well, let's do everything first. Oh, it's, oh, there's more. Oh, good. So there's the three... Uh, assault weapons, so that's six dice. Now, assault weapons aren't affected by moving. Oh, so they get the, don't get the minus one. Yeah, yeah so they'll get three uh, long range, four, uh, just one cover there, so fives. So that's another three hits. Ooh. And then I've got one, two rifles who are going to be threes, cover four, long range, five. Moved six, so that's the uh, miss. Right, Fours. you're. No, I'm veteran. I'm you're a veteran, so I need fives to kill. Two. Two. Now, do you roll those again to see if you choose? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So if I roll sixes, I get to roll again. If I get another six, then I get to choose. No. So that's just two two kills. And a, and a fatigue marker as well. And, uh, a, and a pin marker. Pin, yeah. I keep one, sorry. So they got one. Uh, um, makes sense to take the rifles off, doesn't it? Yeah. Not machine gun. Rifle. You again? Right. I'm going to 
rally my my officer. I'll find it, rally. So I need a ten or like nine. Just. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna be able to rally at least two pins. So. Take so that he's, he's a. It's ten to start with. Yeah, because he's a veteran officer. But you lose one for the. So you you lose. And then you go up for being an officer. So it, it, uh, no. So. When you rally, you don't count the pins against you. Oh, you don't? No. Oh, okay. Because all you're doing is basically boosting your own morale. You know, right, you're, not, okay. you're not doing yep, anything. Yep, yep, okay. Um, so it's easier for you. And then I rally one, one plus one die six, which only going to get minimum of a one. So it's, you're always removed two markers. Yeah, yeah. Me? Personally, I haven't moved. Is my, on the table, is my peer team. I'm going to move him up to in here. Uh, can you interpenetrate other units or not? Yes, as long as you don't end up in, you can't finish in a unit. You have to go through it. So, is it 12? Would that be less than 12? It'd be six because I'm going into here. So yeah, if we say that's rough ground, you, you can only move six. So I'll move him up to I mean, it, outside of an inch. Yeah, he's... He's going to be safe this turn. Again? Hmm. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to put something on my. Uh... You're, going to have to, you're, you're going to have to decide whether you want to bring them on or not. Okay, I'm not going to bring on my Jeep. All right, okay. Ah. Me, right. And yours? Well, time is going on. I think. Gee, here he comes. We'll bring on the tank. So. It was held in reserve, so I've got to roll to bring it on. Oh, so you've actually got a pass morale test. They've got a pass morale test, or an orders test to come on. It's a regular tank, so I need nine, less one, because it's in reserve. So I need eight or below. Five. So I've successfully been able to bring my tank on. Do you come on, or do you just uh, stay at the back? No, I move, do a full move on. So you've deliberately come on, not on the road. So well, I haven't decided yet. I've only oh. put it. I've put it I've just, <laughs> Sorry, Richard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, just put it down. I've now going to decide where I'm going to bring it on. Bring it down the road. Oh. Because that would block the truck. So that unit there is quite exposed. So I'm going to bring it on so I can have a pop at that. Oh, so you can you can move and shoot. Yeah. So I'm going to advance on. To give it an orders dice. The so same how fast does it move? Nine inches. The tank looks like a tiger. Oh yeah, you've got this Tiger Fury thing you were yeah, talking so about. Yeah, so only certain, not all German tanks, but certain German tanks, Panzer Fours are one of them. To the British and the G Russians, they look like, and, and Americans, they look like tigers. Because everything was a tiger in Normandy. Um, so anybody within 18 inch counts as if they've got a pin marker on them. Oh. When it comes to testing an order. Unless you're firing at the actual tank because right. then you've got your nerve because you're going to kill the tiger hmm. or not or not right so i'm going to move on i'm now going to shoot with the tank are you going to shoot he with the gun or well i've got a choice so you can can't, can't you do both or so you can only fire one weapon that's on the turret so you're going to be looking to fire at them there so i, I can either fire the coax machine gun the big gun or the big gun at the at them. I also have got a hull mounted machine gun. Yep. So I'm definitely going to fire the hull mounted machine gun. If I if I fire the HE out of the um, at the tank gun, I've got a better chance of killing you. But but I only get one shot. End up firing the machine gun because I just get more shots. Yep. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to fire the two machine guns. Which will give me 12 dice, basically. 12? Yeah. Because they're heavy machine guns? They're medium machine guns. Oh, medium. Heavy machine guns would actually only be five, it'd be less, but they'd be, they're more effective. In terms of their... So they get, so you've got six dice per. Yeah. And then, so I need, it would be three. Basically, it's always, you start with three. I've moved four. I'm within 18 inches, I think. You are yeah, I am within eight. I mean, 15, 15 inches, 15, 15 inches. 16 ish. Yeah, so that basically means I need fours to hit. 
because you've not made it to the cover yet. So, fistful of dice. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh dear. So, right, <laughs> right. You're not embarrassed by that? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no. Right, I haven't hit, I've, so I've, I've hit you, which means they get one pin marker. Yep, yep. I'm just teaching you Tiger Fear, that's what Yeah, I'm I know, I can feel it. Right, so now you're veteran, so, so I need fives. 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 So, wow. a good roll. So you've, you've killed five, but you've rolled two sixes, so you're going to re-roll those. So you well, you've only got five. Oh, yeah. Oh, dear. So, so I've only got five in the unit, so they're vaporised. Yeah, so basically that's it. That's the first unit kill to And I'll leave gun. a dice with them as well. Well, if you put the dice with the... the it, so we, if we put the dice in the middle, then we, oh, can, yeah, keep, yeah. we can keep tabs. Yep, yep, sorry. You don't want to be caught in the open by the tank. Do you again? Right. So now I'm going to try to bring on this truck. Which is which, laden full of men. Which is laden with my... Um, Falmer Sh Shergen. Are these your... Uh, easy, e easy to say. Uh, my German paratroops, basically. The strong ones, your good ones. These are good. So these will need... Uh, so the truck, though, is just a regular truck. How many figures can you get in a, in a truck? Um, this can load 12. Oh, OK. So you can put pretty well anything. Yeah. I mean, different, different nationalities have slightly different sized trucks. Oh, OK. Uh, but most have a, at least eight. Or ten, so usually you can bring. There are some trucks can have twenty or thirty people in. Okay. A big truck, but it would be nine because it's a regular truck, eight because it's coming on out of reserve. So I've rolled a four, so that's successfully come on. It's a wheeled vehicle, which normally would have a uh, an advanced move of twelve. Because it's going to come in on the road, I can move double. Twenty-four inches. Okay, it moves twenty-four inches. Wow. Now, I could run it, you know, move fast, where it would, so it would get then a move of 48 inches. But then you couldn't take the troops off. No, I couldn't, but it can't unload. Yeah, you can't. And you're going to want to. Aren't and I'm going to want to unload, because in that vehicle, they are sitting ducks. So, 24 inch will bring me halfway across the table. Now, in a competition game, and for some of the, some of the scenarios, you want that because you because some of the scenarios are to basically cross the whole table and get off the other side. You just keep going. And you just keep going, yeah. Pedal Load it with pedal to the metal. Load it with small units and just send it. It's vulnerable. It's not that hard to kill. Uh, and if you kill the vehicle, it affects the troops inside. Obviously. So you you got a dice just for the truck. And yeah. The, and the, so have you got a dice for the figures in there as well? Yeah, they they're separate. Okay, so. So that's it, that's so far. Right. Because the truck made it on, the contents make it on. But you still get to see what... It's I can there. decide what they'll do with them. They could stay in the truck, they could run out of the truck, they could jump out of the truck and fire. They can't fire if they're in the truck. They have so, to... Right. So it's yours, and there's one left in there, which is mine. Your tank. Which is my tank off the table. So yeah. I'll decide what I'm going to do with that in a mo. Yeah. So right, so I'm going to... This is advance the unit in it, out of it. So they How can fast move do you move? Six, six, inch, six, six inches. Six inches. So um, I'm going to go after that unit there. Yeah. So I can fr six inches from anywhere on the on the vehicle. So it's a bit cheesy, but I'm not going to unload from the back. I'm going to unload from the front. Off the engine. Yeah, I mean, it's just, <laughs> let's face it, the ground scale doesn't mean anything in these games. because it, yeah. It's like Casey Jones when they all ran the engine. Yeah, so right, there we go. Oh dear. Check in a minute. Ah. Just check. There's one assault rifle. Right, so now I'm going to shoot at the guys in the ruin. So we're all within 12 inches, which means that everything's going to be able to shoot. We'll start but, with... But the machine guns... They don't get the, the, the anti-moving, they get 
the mi- don't get the minus one, do they? Because move and shoot, don't they? Exactly. Um, yeah. So we'll start with the, we'll revi- we'll do each type of gun for uh, individually. So there's um, five dice for the light machine gun. Yep. That will so be threes. I moved four. You're in cover. Uh, we're calling that hard cover. So I need fives. But I thought you said. Uh, uh, that you with your machine guns, you don't. Oh, this is the this is the medium machine gun. The, the light machine gun, not the submachine guns. Not the submachine. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay. So there's the fi- so Fuck. one hit. One hit. Right. Then we've got one assault rifle. Yep. So you get two dice for those. You get two dice. So they would be three. You don't get a penalty for moving, but I do get a penalty for being at long range because I'm over nine. I think I'm over nine inches. Yeah, I'm over nine inches. So they're long range, so there'll be fours. So they miss, that missed. Yeah. And then I've got three submachine guns. Well, there'll be three, and they're at long range, so, so they'll be at fours. So submachine gets two dice each. Yeah. So they'll need fours. Oh, nice. Wow, uh, look at that. Okay, so these are my lucky German dice. <laughs> You're not kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> I was in a competition at the weekend. And they didn't roll like that, I tell you. Oh, wow. Uh, nice dice. So seven hits. You're needing fives. So I need fives. So two. It's two. And I rolled a six. So we get to roll that one again. Yep. I rolled another five. So that basically two casualties on that unit, which you get to choose. Which would obviously be the rifles. And then another pin on them. Or a pin on them. Right, a pin on them. So I've got one, there's one dice left, and that's my tank. And I can see only one place where that tank's gonna go. <laughs> right there. You, so you'll need to roll to bring it on. Oh yeah. So What I, do I need to bring him on? I, is it a regular tank, Graham? I can't remember. Regular, got it. Regular, so a regular tank will need an eight to come on. An eight? Or less, Do yeah. I have to declare he comes on, or? No, you just have to, you don't have to say where until you've successfully come on or not. You rolled eight on your tank, didn't you? Yeah. Well, I, did I roll eight? I can't remember exactly what I rolled. Do I get a plus one or anything? Did you not get a plus one? No, you got... So, normally an order test for that tank would be nine, then you're minus one, so it becomes eight. Okay, so it's nine on the sheet, is it? Yeah. Nine, it, well, it doesn't say nine on the sheet. It just says regular. DV penalty, nine plus. Okay, come on, baby. Here we come. Ten. Well, well that's handy. I rolled a ten. So, so you basically... You don't come on this turn. I thought I did. I was... Less, Less than. than. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you put the wrong dice oh, in, fuck. Graham. You use, you use your high-scoring dice. Oh and man, your low I thought he was coming on. Fucker! Like and that's the end of the turn. That's the end of the turn. So that's the end of turn two. So we're on turn three, right? Okay, so it's uh, turn three. Uh, scores of one unit each at the moment. Without further ado, I'm take a dice out, and unfortunately for me. It's, it's Richard's. Right, device. so advance my truck out of the way. Because you want to protect your dice. Yeah, so I can basically pivot twice with the truck. Once, twice. Yeah. And then I'm going to run it, which will be... And you're going to hide it behind that hill so nothing's ever going to see it. Yeah, 12... I don't want to take it off because then that would count as a kill. Yeah, there's a little, lovely little curved hill there that you can yeah. put it in. Well, yeah, I think you can, you can still see it, so it's still got a chance you're going to be able to shoot at it. Behind this hill, then I'm not. Yeah. yeah. You're not far off it. I, okay. I'll, I'll move it completely out of sight in a minute. Me. Seems like I'm going to try again. Now I know what I need to roll for dice. It's got to be the tank, innit? So I'm going to try and bring the tank on again. You need, nine, uh, you need eight or less. I rolled an eight. So that's it, your tank's coming on. Woohoo! So my tank is gonna come on, reap some revenge, just here, and now I can move half a move, did you say, or is it better to stay still? Do, do I get a negative move? Well, you have to move on, so you're gonna move anyway. Ah, oh. so can't... I might as well just do the full move then, which is nine inches, you said. Didn't you? Yeah, nine inches is your advanced move from the do edge I... of the table. So it's like that to the front? Yeah. Now, N- naturally, I want to get a little bit of revenge on you there. Yeah, so so now you've, I think, I can't remember what the weapons the, the I haven't got. I haven't got Tiger Fury, unfortunately. Yeah, you don't, you're not frightened. I'm now, not frightened of you. So, so I've got an advance. Um, 
and you fired your machine gun at me, didn't you? Yeah, so I would, yeah, it's up to you, but just, just check what machine guns the Sherman's got. I can't remember. Because there's so many different varieties of It's Sherman. got a turret mounted anti tank gun, coaxial MMG, forward facing yeah. MMG. So he's got two medium machine guns. Yeah, uh, which is the same as you, isn't it? Yeah, so I mean, you, you could do the same as me. So I'm going to do the same as you because I like what you did to me. Yeah, all right, okay, so all you right. get to roll 10 dice. 10 dice. Because no, you're, you're British machine guns on. Clearly aren't as good as German ones. <laughs> Clearly. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, you rolled exceptionally well. Yeah. Now, I'd like to roll exceptionally well as well. So, base is three. You're going to be within 18 inches there, pretty yeah. sure. Uh, and then you move. So, you need fours. Fours? Yeah. And you rolled loads, didn't you? Yeah. So, if the dice gods are with me... Not too bad. Well, four. I don't know. It's, uh, four. So, I hit you four times. Yeah. So now I rolled to kill, didn't I? Yeah. Unfortunately, you rolled more than that, I seem to remember. Yeah. Uh, so now you, because I'm veteran, you'll need five. fives. Fives to kill. Yeah. And just to remind you, I've got two Panzerfaust in that unit. <laughs> so, you, so you could do with a couple of sixes, followed by a couple of sixes. Yeah, yeah I, get, I get the idea. Uh, two fives. So you've killed two. Are you going to take the Panzerfaust? No, I'm definitely not going to. I'm going to take that rifleman. Yeah. And I'm going to take... Oh. That rifleman. It does mean that I'm not automatically going to fire my five yeah, From what I've seen with these experienced guys, they don't miss too many chances, yeah. Richard. Yeah, these fair. are veteran troops from. Yeah, you know, these guys have fought in Sicily and Italy. And Next one. I'm, I'm throwing them up in the air as we've discussed. North Africa. It's right. You. Right, well, of course. Of course. Well, still surprise, around. surprise me. They're going to fire back. Are so, you firing your Panzerfaust at my... I'm going to fire the two Panzerfausts at your tank. tank. So the range is, to be precise. Oh, I, if I'm in range, I may not be in range. Uh, so, oh, actually, now... I'll tell you what the range is. No, don't tell me what the range is. Does it, is it measuring, then? Sorry, in bolt so, action, do you, do you judge or can you pre-measure? No, you judge. Oh, do you? And okay. I actually... I could have made you measure last time because you fired at me and I wouldn't know exactly. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't. <laughs> but that is definitely more than 12 inches. Yes, definitely more So than I'm time. not going to fire. Oh, you're I'm going to go down? I'm going to advance Ooh. and fire. Of course. Because I'm not going to stay there and just tuck it. Otherwise, I'll be, I will be dead. So they can move up to six inches. Right. Uh, Key now do I measure for you? Now you measure for me, and I'm pretty sure I'm moving. You are just within 12, believe it. Right, me. okay. Well, well... Uh, now, judged. what I can't remember is whether or not I can fire the Panzerfaust at them and the inf and fire the, the rest of them at... Different targets. You know, different target. I'm going to have to check that in the rules in a minute. But let's do the Panzerfaust. Let's do the exciting thing first. So you've got two Panzerfausts. Three is the base. Yeah. I've moved four... And you're at long range, because I've only got a 12-inch range, and I'm definitely not within six. Oh, OK. So that's... Fives. Fives. Two dice needing fives. And I, these are one-shot weapons. So if I miss, this is the, they, they ain't going to get another go. One hit. One hit. That's all you need. So it is exactly all I need. One. So Panzerfaust is at six penetration. Plus yeah. six penetration. Um, because it's a shaped charge... It means that it doesn't matter that it's fired at long range, whereas a, a anti-tank shell, if it's fired at long range, gets a minus one. Um, I'm hitting you straight on the front. Yeah. So it's a full armour value, and I, I think for a Sherman, it's nine. Nine. DV pen. Right, so I've basically got to, that this plus six has got to be, if it's nine. Oh, I see then I get a superficial hit, which means I can't destroy you. Yeah. If I get 10, there's a chance of... Oh, you're rolling two dice? I'm, no, I'm rolling one dice and I'm adding six. Oh, wait. Oh, cool. I need you to roll a low dice then. Oh, a one. Like, like that. Does that mean it blows up in his face? It Basically, I hit you, but didn't penetrate your heart armour. So I take a pip. Take you, a... Take, you take a pin because I could have penetrated your armour. I've shot my bolt and that's it. They're, they're, you're going to spray them with machine gun fire. Oh, right, I'm just going to check. 
whether I could fire the rest of them at something else. Yep. Like the Panzerfaust, get to shoot at a different target from the rest of the unit. It's one of the exceptions. In oh, the you've rule. found a, a rule, have you? Yeah. Page what number is it? Page 49. Page 49. Declare char uh, target. Right. So the rest of them can fire small arms at the, the infantry in the ruin. But you have moved. I if, have moved. So if, some of your, so if some of yours have moved, they've all moved. So Yeah, so... You're going to fire... I'm going to fire the... Yeah, they all count as moving. So I fired the light machine gun. That's going to get five dice, three base, move four, and within half range. You're in hard cover, so it's going to be five. Just, Just the one this time? One hit. I've got three machine guns. Oh, forget he's got more. <laughs> yeah, three machine guns. They are going to be three. It doesn't matter that they moved. It's long cover. range for... Cover five. Cover five, six, because we said two for them. Yep. So that's those two. And then I've got one assault rifle. Two dice. Which is going to be, that's going to be long range. So that's three, long range, four, cover six. Another one here. And I think I've got, that's it. That's my lot. So six hits. Needing fives to kill. Fives to kill. One. Just the one. W one, and another pin marker on them, Graham. I've made a mistake. Go on. I needed sixes because I've got a pin. So the last bot lot didn't hit them. Yeah. So did I roll any sixes? I rolled a... You rolled a couple of sixes. A couple of sixes. So oh, if we just say that they're pinned, if one pin on them, we won't, we won't count the kill. Okay. But I've got two pins on me now, which is not great. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. It's all right. Pin, the pin marker makes it harder for them to... Right. Are we done? Yeah. Bouncing the dice? Yeah. <laughs> yeah you do it, Wayne. <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah. Uh, two fat ladies. Oh, can't, unbelievable. We can't, we, we can't say that anymore, can we? Two fat ladies. <laughs> We're not allowed. Don't worry, I'll leave it in. <laughs> <laughs> The, the guys in the the mortar. Ruid. So you need so the mortar was on a five now. You're needing fives now. <laughs> so the five will now go down to two. Why? Oh, because once you hit, you carry on it. You, it makes it easier. I've ranged in now. Mine's a heavy mortar, which has got a three-inch template. So, however many men I can fit within a three-inch. You got them all. I'm not going to argue that. So it, it, in the, if you put it there, yeah, I could probably get them all. Just the whole lot. I'm not going to argue that. How, how many of the? How many figures? All right. So six. Yeah. No, I've got eight in that unit. Oh, eight. Okay. So uh, there's eight. Six, seven, eight. Eight in the unit. Right. So normally I would need fives because they're veterans. Yeah. But because this is a heavy mortar, uh, it's a three a three inch template. That's why I've got them all, which also means plus three on the dice. So that means I, I, anything but once. Okay. Because it's a lot of HE. Yeah, yeah. Big yeah. HE. Well, you're lucky. I got three ones. Three ones. Right. So I've now killed five of them. Five rifles. Right. Now, I've killed more than half yeah. in one go, which means they have to take a morale test. Yeah. But you are British paratroops who are stubborn. So basically that means that you test, you ignore the pin markers. Oh. So as long as you roll under 10, they'll pass their morale test. Two, cat size. Right, so that, that basically means they pass their, they pass their morale test. Stupid they, they, question, because I haven't activated them, could I have gone down? Uh, you could have done each of the half the kills, yeah. My bad. No, sorry, I should have perhaps reminded you. Next dice. Me. Oh, it's getting a bit hot here now, isn't it? I mean, I, this is going to happen. Where I'm going to shoot you there, whatever. So there's no point worrying about it too much because you already... No, because I'm not going to do much else. So this one here against those. Right. So I'm going to fire out the woods against those there. So it's just a normal fire, isn't it? Yeah. Bren gun. Plus, so that is four dice, and you will you, you're within normal range. So bring gun is 
and the loader. Yeah, so that's two. And they will need threes because you haven't moved. Yep, and I've got one, two, three. Right. Am I within 12 inches? I don't think I am. The... No, we weren't before, so we can't be now. So, yeah. so you want, why don't you roll for the Bren gun first and then we'll roll for the rest? Four, six. So I've got six rifles. Just, just to... So one Bren gun, six rifles, because you killed one. Yep. Right. Yeah. So... You'll need threes with the Bren and you'll need fours with the others. Okay, so threes with these. Two. So that's two, all right. And fours with these. Yeah. Just the three there. So it's five in total. Yeah. Killing you on threes, isn't it? Yep. Hard look. Just, just the two. Not so, great. So you've killed two. But it's not half your squad, is it? So there's no morale test, is there? No. But you do take a... I take another pin. Yeah. Trying to do the bouncing dice here, Richard. Right. These guys here are going to fire against them. Mm -hmm. So here to there. So you'll have to take an orders test because you've got a pin marker on them. Seven. So that'll be fine. You take one of the pin markers off. I don't know. So I was on one before. So that gets removed. So now I fire and I've got machine gun. Machine gun, submachine gun, rifle, machine gun, machine gun, machine gun. So I've only got one rifle, I've got one, two, three, four, five submachine guns. So that's ten, ten dice for the submachine guns, and you'll need fours with them because I think we're at long, we're at long range. Is it worth me moving forward and getting closer to you and firing? It depends how... If you, I'm, I'm guessing that... I'm looking at it, there's certainly going to be less... Yeah, if you, if you got... Then you'd be within point-blank range. So... So if you're moving with six forward... It's going to, I'm going to be a lot more effective in the shooting, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. So if I move six forward... Right, so that completely changes things. Yep, this so, is what I wanted. So you're at three... And then you've now moved within point blank because it's less than six inches. Yep. So you need twos to hit. And I've got ten dice, did you say? Yep. So, which is nice. Ten dice and... Did I say Adam? A rifle there? And then you've got one rifle, but we'll shoot him separately because he, he, he's moved, so he, he's not as effective. He needs a four. Well, let's do the rifle first, shall we? It's a hit. Oh, great, okay. <laughs> I think this is a revenge. Yeah. It is a little bit. Um, and I need, did you say, so go over the factors again. So normally we'd need a three. Yeah. Then it would go to four because you've moved, but it goes back down to three because you're assault weapons. And now you're within point blank range. Anything but a one. Anything but a one. Don't roll ones, great. Two ones come out. <laughs> but lots. So this is, as you say, <laughs> Um, and I need your experience, aren't you, or veteran? Veteran, so you need fives. Fives. <laughs> oh, that's better. So I've rolled five kills and one and two sixes. So I re-roll the two, and I didn't roll any sixes. So it's your five. Five, yeah. Five, yeah. Five dead, yeah. Right, so that's 50% of the unit, which means I have to take a morale test. Yep. It's now, good. my, my German paratroopers are equally stubborn. Do you get a pin marker straight away before the morale test? I get a pin marker as well, right. But my troops are equally stubborn as the British paratroops. Okay. So I, I, I ignore the pin markers for morale, so okay. I need to get 10 or below. 11. So I've got 11, Ooh, that's which clearly means that these red devils are tougher than these <laughs> former uh, uh, um, so, these German powers. So what happens now? They run off. Oh, they're routed? They're routed. Oh, wow. So now you take another dice out of the bag. You pop it over here. You pop it over there. Trying to... The edges. Me. Good point. So I'm going to bring the jeep on. You're going to try it yeah. now. I think are these veteran? Is it a veteran jeep or is it a veteran? It's veteran. 
So you're going to need a nine or less. After what happened last time. Now I know the dice. Yeah. Yes, so you've successfully brought the jeep on. Happy days. So, how fast does it move? It can move and fire. Does, if it moves, it, up to, it can move 12 inches cross country. So if I go to there, I can fire, can't I? Yeah, yeah. So that's what I should do. I should go alongside the there to there. And this has two medium machine guns on it, I think. Yeah, it's like a bloody SAS thing, isn't it? Forward-facing twin MMGs. Yeah. So you're going to have ten dice. Now, your base is going to be three. You've moved fours. They'll be, I'm well within, within normal range. He did, you yeah. say? There's a few now. One, two, three, four. Not that many. Right, and then you'll need fives to, to kill. But you have done another pin. Hard luck. <laughs> from the heart, Richard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dang. But I did pin them. You did pin them. So they've got two pins on them. Yeah, yeah, okay. We okay. Right. Shall we continue? Yeah. Me again. Okay. These are going to fire. Albeit they've got three pin markers. Is it worth firing? I've got. A you're going to get. You, you're going to need. You're going to need. If you don't move, you're going to need sixes to hit. If you're able to fire. I'm going to rally them. Right. So you need two dice. And you need to get roll under under 10, 10 or under. Seven. Now I roll a dice to see how many I removed, and Yeah, I? and you add one to it. Why do I add one to it? Because you do. Oh. Six. It's plus one, seven. So I move seven pins. Yeah. <coughs> ah, it's you. <laughs> tank in it <laughs> yeah so what we're gonna do is we're gonna ignore this pond and drive through it it doesn't slow you up it will slow me up but not but so how much do you move normally nine I'd, inches you nine say. inches so you can only advance through it you so can't, you can't run it right? can't run through it well i'm only going to advance anyway so it doesn't matter nine inch i'm not going to show you my side up I don't think I can actually see you anyway, to be fair. So if any part of my tank can see you, I can see you. So I just need a line that's not through the... It's not through the turret though, is it? No, I mean, I can see you, but you're at least half covered. Which means it, I'll add another one to my dice. So he's, he's looking to shoot my Sherman. And the, it, so the bit that I can see is, which is 31 inches. And I've got a super heavy anti-tank gun, which is a range of 72. So if it's under 36, it's normal range, and it is. So I'm going to need three, move four, you're partially concealed, five. I get one shot, and I need a five or six. Four. So I've missed. <laughs> Are you again? Yeah. I'm going to try to fire those. How many pins do they have? They have two pins on them, Graham. So they're going to need six. Why, why do they need six? Because it's eight normally, less two pins, six. So I need to roll under six with two dice. Eight. Eight. So I haven't. So they're a bit scared. So they will go down and hide. And that's what you do when you fail? Yeah. You don't remove a pin either? You don't remove a pin, they just get frightened and do nothing. Me? So I suppose, got to do something. Well, I think... It's my mortar, yeah. You just fire at my mortar. I think, so my mortar it? here is going to fire at the mortar on the other side of the table. I'm needing a four. Yep. 
Got it. You got. So that now goes down to a two gram. Yep, as you did to me in the building. But you yeah, you're a medium me. mortar, which means it's a two. It's two inch HE, which is a two inch diameter. So it's all of them. It's all of them. Do I roll one per figure? One per figure that's caught in there. So you've got four figures. Haven't you? I can't go down because I've already fired. Oh, okay. So I can't hide. Uh, and ba you get plus two on these dice rolls. And they are an inexperienced unit, so you normally only kill, you kill them on a three. So it's that anything but a one gram. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a one, just a three, no sixes. Right, so you've killed over half of them, Graham. You've put a pin marker, uh, you put... Um, Die three pins on them. So roll another dice and halve it. Yeah. Six. Six. So you've put three pins on them. So they're up to... Right. Because you've killed three of them... Yeah. I know, that's over half. Yeah. I have to take a morale test. Now, normally with a need eight... So, yeah. Last man standing means they need seven. You get a minus one for that. Yeah, because there's one man left. Three pins means I take three off, so that's down to four. So I need to get four or under. I've rolled a nine. nine. So you've actually, that's another... As uh, Prince Harry would say, that's another notch on your belt. But that's, <laughs> that's obviously not... A, a, I'll leave that in, don't worry. Uh, right, there we go. Uh, we've got some more dice left in. Uh, you again. Cool. I'm running out of options here. I can really get close enough to, so I'm just going to run them this way, because I'm not going to run ne near to your tank. I'm not that silly. So I've got three dice left. So one is my uh, big man, my leader here. One is the Piat team. Now, um, you could go and run them into the open and have a sneaky shot at my tank. I was thinking that. So, the well, first thing to tra tra Traditionally, they go, oh shit, because of miss. But that's. Uh, I'm going to first of all move him, and he's going to move this way behind the building. All right. Out of the way. That's the easy one. And I've got my officer and got my officer into here. Your peer or your officer? No, no. Oh, sorry, no. My officer into there. Like yeah, okay. He's within six inches. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's one dice. And I've got the peer. What's the range of my peer? You said it's 12, didn't you? Sorry? Peer, it's got to get within 12. Now, because you're within 18 inches of me, and you're not giving them a fire order, you're going to have to give them an advance order because they're going to move closer first. They've got to pass. Because of this tiger fear thing. Tiger fear test. So they, that's, that's... Should I have done that with my officer here first? Yeah, you, you, you should have done, and you really should have done it on them before they fired. Let, let me do the officer. No, five. two dice. Two dice, it's five. So Seven. that's fine. Yeah. So they're veteran, so they would normally pass an order test on a ten. But this counts as one pin, so they need nine or under. To do, to do something. Yeah. Five. five. So they're fine. They're, these guys are hardy veterans. So you get to move up to six inches closer to me. And the time is 25 past nine. So this is probably your last shot. So from that point of view, then I've got to do it, I don't think. So, yeah. so um, I'm going to move them six inches and fire. But yeah, you, might move, you can move them through the wood and that'd be and even, will, get a bit closer then. I will do. So I'm going to move them to there. No, I'm pretty sure that's within 12 inches. I'm going to check to be sure. Nine stroke ten. Right, so they're, they'd normally be three. You're at long range because it's over six, but under 12, so that's four. They move, it's a five. Mm. One dice. Because you get, this is a to hit roll. Five or three. three. Unfortunately, as tradition goes, they've missed. <laughs> but well done. I tried. Yeah. So, well, we said that we were with this one. This will be it, isn't it? This would be it, which means you've won. Okay, so the score, I'm sure I've been playing very slowly. It's three to one. So first of all, Richard, thank you very much. Thanks, Graham. Um, 
Explain to me what happened there. You know, if you was to pray see that game, this was this was. Uh, I should have read that you were going to do that with the um, the truck. I suppose in a game, I probably would have put them on ambush. Would that have been a better thing to do? Wait for the truck to go up the road. Yeah, po possibly. Would that uh, have been the... There's probably not an awful lot you could do about that. Um, but if you'd have had them on that ambush, when I moved the truck hit, um, into sight, which would have been about here, yeah. you would have opened up. And because it's a soft vehicle, you can actually kill it with just rifles. And everything dies inside it. And what would happen is if you killed the truck, then I'd roll the dice and I'd get that many hits against the unit inside. Ooh. So it, would, it potentially could have halved the size of that unit. But as soon as that... With my army, those you, you did well to get rid of those, but they are they are tough tough nuts. They're highly they've got a lot of machine guns, automatic weapons. They're really tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So one to one, you're going to lose against those units. On here against my guys. Yeah. Could you could you because when you charge, we didn't ever actually have we, any we, didn't, did we? we didn't we never got close enough to hand for hand to hand. In a in a in a straight up fight, hand to hand, it'd be 50-50. Even with my paras, the veterans? Yeah, because mine are veterans as well. Right. Now, if you'd have managed to catch these, then you'd have gone through them like a knife through yeah, the Yeah, this, this is your uh, my inexperience. Luftwaffe uh, yeah. <laughs> recruits. Which, <laughs> yeah, which is what happened here. You know, you, do, you just you wipe the floor with them. Mm. And, and the same with the mortar. As soon as you hit the mortar, it was going to get, it was going to crumble. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because what I did with mine, I, I, my tank's more expensive than yours. It's a slightly better tank. Well, it's got that tank killer. It's mine. So your gun was uh, so my. Mine's a super heavy gun. I think yours is just. Um, uh, Seventy-five mil. That's what it says. Does it, yeah, but doesn't it say it's a medium ta a tank, medium gun? Sherman, medium gun. Yeah, medium yeah. anti-tank. So yours, gun. mine's a medium. So yours is medium. Then it goes heavy, and then it goes super heavy. So yours is two levels up. Yeah. So if I hit you, I am going to blow your tank up. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. So well, just... I'm going to penetrate you. And if I penetrate you by more than two, I get two rolls on the damage table. Mm. And it's 50-50 on the damage table that I'm going to blow you up. So. Yeah, that's a real bastard. Yeah, thing, yeah. so that's... That, but that cost me a lot of points. So how many points did that cost you in your 1,000? 235. <laughs> so that's a quarter... You got a quarter of your points stacked up in there. In so there. my army then, only having one pier, is a bit thin really. The only two things I could kill it with is my tank and my pier. Yeah, but if I'd have given you a, a six pounder uh, anti-tank gun, you know, you, you end up then being weak against my infantry. Which they weren't. Yeah. Well, I think the mistake you made was you didn't deploy in strength. You put two units over here and one unit there and one unit there. You should have put four units on one side of the table. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then I wouldn't have been able to. Well, if I'd have done the same, my, because only two of mine were any good. Two against four. I, yeah. I, I was lucky with my bombard though, to be fair. I, what, yeah, I, yeah. You, to you. You, you stopped me moving uh, and you got a new... Well, that destroyed that unit, didn't it? That yeah, was, yeah. It, it, took, it took one of your weaker units. Yeah, I mean, that. brilliant. This it wasn't it wasn't tournament lists. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was it was friendly game. No, no. Listen, Richard, thank you very much for that, and uh, I enjoyed that. Yeah, I, no, I, I did too. I did too. Really enjoyed that game. Great to get my figures out of the loft after all those years, and I'm certainly looking forward to using using them again. If you think it was worth recording and recording more, please say. Otherwise, please like it, subscribe it, share with like-minded. Take care and see you all on the next video.